the first aspect of uh, the land prepar preparation is uh, the plowing. The first, the initial preparation of the land that can be done via tractor, machinery. Uh, you can be able to use a disc plow, maybe you can, use, you can be able to use a chisel uh, so that you can be able to break the hard pan. But here, uh, we, when, when uh, doing land preparation, we're also looking at the depth of that soil. And uh, there are some places where you can use the disc plow, but uh, in other areas, we have uh, the kind of farming we call conservation agriculture. And in conservation agriculture, uh, it involves breaking of the hard pan. You can be able to break the hard pan. And the hard pan is uh, the area just below the ground where it becomes very hard such that uh, the roots cannot penetrate. And sometimes it is even caused by fertilizer we apply and also the method of farming among other things. And therefore, if uh, the depth of the soil is not very good in the land that you are growing, uh, you, can be able, you can use a tractor that uses a chisel and the chisel that uh, it goes down and then it breaks the hard pan. So that soil will have very good depth and uh, when you are planting your kale crop, uh, you'll be able to plant it in a very, in a, in a very good way. Otherwise, uh, we have the traditional way of planting, whereby you can be able to use a disc, uh, a disc plow, and then you do harrowing, and then the crop, uh, the land will be ready for planting. And therefore, once you use a, a machinery, you can be able to plant, and apart from machinery, you can still use manual labor. If maybe there are some areas where machinery is not available, you can do, uh, use uh, manual labor where uh, uh, the laborers can use uh, the handheld implements like the hoe or what we call the jembe uh, or the fork. And once that is done, uh, it is advisable they do what we call double digging. Double digging is uh, you dig a particular place and then you dig again. So that will improve uh, the depth of that soil and also it will... Uh, uh, help to break the hard pan. So which means uh, the mass of soil will be more and once you plant your kale crop it will be able to thrive very well because the soil will have a lot of surface area you know to get the nutrients and also for anchorage. Once land is prepared it is important to consider the kind of irrigation that you are going to have because if it is rain fed and uh, if maybe you, are, you, you, may, uh, you may be using the sprinkler irrigation, then the land can be just uh, prepared in a, a you know, flat land. But uh, in case you are doing the irrigation where you are go going to need furrows, then that will change a bit because you have to change in such a way that uh, you are going to uh, have channels of water uh, so that once you pump water from the water source, is going to have uh, channels where you're going to, um, you know, you're going to pass the water. And then the kales are planted on either side. Whichever the method of irrigation that you choose, uh, the preparation of the land has already been done. For these other methods, that is the rain fed and also the sprinkler, uh, you can be able to, uh, you can just use a flat line and then you just dig holes that you are going to plant the crop. And uh, for the irrigation, you can have the, the, the channels. And then alongside the channel, you are going to put um, uh, holes that you are going now to plant the, 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 the kale crop. And then along the channel, that's where the water will be able to pass. And then uh, the crop will be able to get the water. From there, we are going to look at uh, doing the holes. And uh, when you are doing the holes, it will depend on uh, the kind of spacing that uh, you are going to deploy. And here, when you are doing a flat land, when you are doing um, rain fed, or maybe you are doing the overhead irrigation, or even you are doing the drip irrigation, we have a spacing of, uh, uh, you can do a spacing of two feet by two feet, that is 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter, or you can do 45 centimeter by 45 centimeter, or even 30 centimeter by that, that is one foot by one foot. That is a, uh, uh, the line spacing and also the crop to crop spacing. You can be able to deploy that. But here, uh, we advise you can go to the middle one of uh, 
45 to I mean one and a half feet to one and a half by one and a half feet. That is a crop to crop and a line to line spacing. And once that is done, then you can be able to, you know, uh, to prepare your land with that spacing. But also it is depend on uh, maybe the market that uh, you are looking at. If the market requires very big leaves, you can do um, you can do two feet by two feet. If maybe it requires smaller uh, leaves, you can be able to do uh, one feet by one feet. It will depend on the market, uh, which means a research on the market is very important so that you can know what is the market requirement. And this is uh, done simply by using the other groups, uh, what we call the common interest group, that are also growing vegetables, the same kale, they can be able to advise you which is uh, the market requirement, so that you are able to you know, start from the right uh, footing from the start. We are going to look at uh, one and a half feet for as the spacing. So we are going to do a spacing of uh, one and a half foot from, from plant to plant and from crop to crop. For instance, if uh, we have, we must have a starting place. If this is a starting place, then uh, this, this will be the plant to plant spacing going that way. And from this line to this line, you find that uh, that now will be the line to line spacing. And therefore, once this is done, you can simply use a stick like this, whereby uh, you can have it uh, one and a half feet or 45 centimeter. And uh, simply, uh, your thumb finger and your index finger, when you do like this, open them like this, that will be half a foot. That is one foot, that's one and a half feet. So this stick is one and a half foot that you are going to use. And this is the one that you are going to use uh, to be able to do uh, to measure from one line to the other. In uh, uh, big farms, maybe you are doing a quarter of an acre, uh, one acre, it is very important to use a planting string so that you don't waste the space from here to here so that you can be able to have even, uh, even spacing from line to line spacing and also the plant to plant spacing. Uh, therefore, we are going to demonstrate how to use that uh, planting string because it is very important to be able to, uh, to use it. And therefore, when you are using this measuring stick, it will come from the middle of the hole to the middle of the other hole. That will be a one and a half foot. And from uh, uh, plant to plant spacing, from the middle of the hole to the other, it will be one and a half. When using a planting string uh, such as this, you must have a starting point. And this is a starting point. And from the starting point, uh, it will be able to enable you if you are uh, going this way or down, you can put the starting point in the middle of the farm. And uh, it should have one string from this side and then there is uh, this string. And the string should be very firm so that it can be able to be uh, very straight. And therefore, from here, uh, we are going now to measure uh, going up Either you are going down or we are going up, you can go either way, but we are going to go up. So you are going to measure one and a half foot. So this will be the line spacing. This will be, I mean, the plant spacing. This will be the line spacing. And therefore, from here, we're going to demonstrate. We're going to demonstrate how to do it. So from there, you measure one and a half foot. You go there. And then you are going to do the same, the other side. You do the same on the other side. You measure one and a half foot. And then you change the peg. Then you change the peg like that. And make sure it is very firm. And then you can now be able to measure and do the holes. So we have the peg here. And now that will be the starting point uh, of our hole. Uh, we are going to do the first hole. And then we have now from the starting hole now we have our peg, I mean our, our measuring stick that is one and a half foot. And therefore from the middle of the, of the hole to the middle of the other hole is going to do another. From there. But now once this is done for an experienced person in doing the holes, they know automatically where, 
one and a half foot will be. And uh, as he's going to do, you are going to measure and we see how it is. So at the end of the day, you are able to measure just by, uh, by the eyes and you are able to do the holes very well. So this is a plant to plant spacing as the holes have been dug and you can be able to see uh, the depth of the hole. You can do around one and a half, uh, around half a foot in, uh, in depth. And when you look at uh, the spacing from one hole to the other or from one plant to the other, I say you start from the middle of the hole. You can be able to see that is one and a half. You can be able to see that is one and a half. This is one and a half going from the middle of the hole to the middle of the other hole, this is one and a half. And therefore all the way, for an experienced person who has been in this farming for long, there is no need of using the stick, it's only used initially. And from there, you do seamlessly the holes along, uh, along the farm. And therefore from there, here you are going to have to, to demonstrate from here, going to now to the other, uh, to the other line. That is the first line and now we are going to go to the other line. So this being the first line, now you are going to do uh, another one and a half for the second line. And then once you measure that, you change the peg. This side, still the same. You change the peg the other side. Okay, uh, now we have the first line here. This is the second line where the peg is and you have the string. So the string is going to guide you because you are not going to use a uh, the uh, measuring stick throughout but the string is going to show you that you are along the line and therefore the first thing you do from the hole from the middle of the other of the first hole and this will be the middle of the other hole and therefore you dig the first hole once the hole are dug then the next step will be putting now the well very well decomposed manure uh, from animal sources, uh, farmyard manure, or from uh, plant sources. And therefore, once this is done, then the manure are placed, as you can uh, as you can see. And then after that, if you have fertilizer, according to the recommendation of uh, the soil testing uh, result, then you can place the fertilizer per hole, according to the recommendation. And then you can mix with the soil that the fertilizer the, ma the manure you mix with the soil per hole and once that that is done uh, then the next step now will be now transplanting 